All right, everyone, calculate the molar mass of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. So we are calculating molar mass, or the mass of a mole. And what are we calculating the mass of a mole of? That would be C2H5OH. So if we had one mole of C2H5OH, ethanol, what would be the mass? So we first need to look at what elements make up ethanol. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen. So those are the three elements that are in our chemical formula. And now we need to look at how many atoms of each of these elements make up one molecule. Because if we know how many atoms are in one molecule, if we had a mole of molecules, we would have that many moles of atoms. So looking at our chemical formula for carbon, we have a two, because it's C2. So that means if we had a mole of ethanol, that would be two moles of carbon. Looking at hydrogen, we have a five next to this hydrogen, and then we have an implied one right here on that hydrogen. So five plus one is six. So if we had a mole of ethanol, we would have six moles of hydrogen atoms. And then for oxygen, there is no subscript. So we are, again, implying that a one is there, even though we don't write that one for chemical formulas. So we have one mole of oxygen. So the next step is to multiply each of these number of moles by the molar mass of that individual element. So for carbon, looking at the periodic table, the molar mass is 12.01. So we're gonna multiply two moles times 12.01 grams per mole, because that is the molar mass of carbon. We have hydrogen next, which is 1.01, looking at the periodic table. So 1.01 grams per mole. And then for oxygen, you should see 16.00 on your periodic table. So 16.00 grams per mole. So we need to solve each of these, and then we are going to add all three of those together to get our molar mass of ethanol. So before we solve these, let's look at our units to make sure they cancel out. For carbon, we are multiplying moles by so many grams per mole. So moles will cancel out and we will be left with just the unit of grams. And that will be the same for these two as well. Moles will cancel out. So our units for these problems will all be grams. So now let's get our calculator. And we are going to start with two times 12.01, hit enter, and that gets us 24.02, so 24.02 grams of carbon in one mole of ethanol. Now we got our second one, so for hydrogen, we're starting with six, we're gonna multiply by 1.01, .01, and we get 6.06, .06. so 6.06 .06 grams of hydrogen, and then for oxygen, we could punch this in our calculator. It will just be one times 16.00. So we're gonna get 16. So 16.00 here. And now we're gonna add all of these together to get our final molar mass for ethanol. So 24.02. We're gonna add 6.06 .06 and then also add 16.00. Hit enter and we get 46.08. So for our final answer, we get 46.08 grams. <clears throat> now your chemistry teacher might want you to express molar mass in terms of grams per mole. So you could also have grams per mole as your units here because 46.08 grams is the mass of a mole. So you could say 46.08 grams per mole is the molar mass 
of ethanol. So check with your teacher how they want you to write that. But anyways, final answer, calculate the molar mass of ethanol. That would be 46.08 grams or grams per mole. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.